Ethiopia or any country in Africa before. And when we decided to adopt, I went over. It was an exciting time. The adoption was exciting. I met my daughter who was beautiful and sweet. And on the other side of it was, was a woman who had to make the selfless decision to give up her daughter for a better life because she couldn't even provide her with the most basic necessities. They were extremely poor. They didn't have any access to clean water and they were struggling really to survive day by day. I felt that I needed to give her a voice and I needed to tell the story and I decided to write the story in a picture book. My book is A Thirst for Home, A Story of Water Across the World and what I wanted to do was give a voice to my daughter's birth mother when we returned that first time from Ethiopia, I found her drinking from a puddle in our driveway. And I wanted to share that with children here as well, that things like water we take for granted. Water connects us all wherever you go. So I have a project, the Gimbichu Project, and the money that goes into the project goes to Gimbichu. The money is used for the clinic, it's used in projects for the school, it's used for school tuition. They're very deserving people who just like anybody else, work hard every day, or just are in an unfortunate circumstance. They've been able to buy equipment that is you know, extremely needed. A lot of schools have supported the Gimbichu Project, including the Waterbury Art Magnet School, and they have just been amazing. The students really learn about other cultures, and they start to appreciate things that they have when they see the things that other children don't have. So the 8th graders have a talent show each year and they volunteer and they perform on the stage and all of the proceeds go to the project. The idea is to bring the kids together to promote an idea that we can give something back to the community. It's just so good to see that they care about something else other than themselves and that the small world that they live in. Once kids have a better understanding of how everything works, water and drought and famine and education and poverty, they're more apt to want to get involved and give back. Anybody can do it, really. And anybody can make a difference in anybody's life. It could be here, it could be you know, halfway across the world.